I've been at PHCA for almost 10 years now. Yes, I was a very small child when it started. And Nancy was as well. As a new staff member, I was asked to work with the independent members. And it was such a great privilege and an honor to get to know the independents because their, uh, their challenges are a little bit different than the multis. And I came to appreciate their challenges and their points of view. Nancy, like her father, puts her heart and her soul into her facility, caring for her residents as if they were her own family. And she is a true example to all of us of a long-term care professional. Nancy is one of our best go-to administrators when it comes to grassroots advocacy and public relations. She's always willing to author an op-ed or a letter to the editor or call her legislator or to offer up her facility when we need footage for a video. She's extremely generous to our pack. Without further ado, I'd like to ask Sarah to come up and um, offer this award to Nancy. Mama. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here tonight and for honoring Nancy as the Distinguished Service Award winner this year. Um, I have to use my glasses. <laughs> Nancy, who's the daughter of Edward Brody, our founder at Park Pleasant, has worked at Park Pleasant since 1981. She's been our administrator since 1999. She's an administrator of great merit and tremendous impact on her staff, residents, and families. She demonstrates a true calling to our seniors and their families. She knows our residents by name and is always willing to do whatever it takes to solve problems as they occur. Although Nancy could easily retire, she works five long days a week in our facility. She rarely takes time off, only with a lot of encouragement from staff and family. And I mean a lot of encouragement. <laughs> um, Nancy follows her mission and commitment to resident care and all that she does. Her true priority is our residents and providing top quality care and not profits. In today's challenging long-term care marketplace where every dollar counts, Nancy has never denied a request for equipment or items that would improve the quality of life for our residents. She's extremely committed to our staff at all levels of the organization. She understands how stressful the frontline caregiver's jobs are and truly makes every effort to assist them in this task. Staffing levels at Park Pleasant are extremely generous and our CNAs work permanent assignments to ensure quality and continuity of care. She's always looking for ways to improve staff efficiency and empower her staff to provide that excellent care that she expects. She never fails to recognize potential in her staff members. Many of us have been fortunate in rising through the ranks, taking on promotions and new challenge under her constant guidance and supervision. She's always willing and enthusiastic in providing opportunities for staff growth in order to improve the skills of her staff and our residents' quality of life. Nancy is also, also committed to hiring new nurses, a task that many facilities don't undertake as it requires considerable investment in time and money. Nancy looks at this as a way to give new nurses a, quote, first chance, hoping to inspire their loyalty to our facility. She has been successful in that endeavor. Nancy is also active in our political arena, a committed member of PHCA and AHCA. She's an advocate for our seniors, the long-term care community, and through her advocacy, ensures that the voices of all of us are heard. In closing, Nancy is truly dedicated to the long-term care industry inspiring us all with her passion, mission, and integrity. She's a shining example of the commitment necessary to improve quality of life and care for her residents, their loved ones, and her staff. 
And when you talk about walking the talk, doing the right thing, and taking the high road, this is my boss, and that's what she does every day. Thank you. Thank you. 